Hi there! Welcome to my artist introduction. I'm glad to have you here. Over the next few minutes, I'll be going into who I am, what I make, and why I make it. Let's get started. My name is Selvia Hunden, and my pronouns are she, they. I'm a 22-year-old studio art major studying at the University of North Texas in Denton, where I also study art history in Spanish. I'm a multimedia artist whose work spans across digital art, traditional acrylic painting, music production and performance, animation, and web and video design-based new media art. I specialize in themes of nostalgia, the internet, the 2000s, horror, the furry community, and queer life. Now then, on to my artistic process. Throughout all my work across the different media I like to create, I tend to gravitate towards creating what I like to see as love letters to the culture and environment of my childhood and current world. I primarily love to make works related to furry culture, a wonderful creative community spanning decades, creating and enjoying content related to anthropomorphized animals and their relation to their respective artists. This community is what got me to start making art when I was a kid, and has fostered an incredibly deep creativity that lives on through my adult self. I love making works that revolve around the experiences I've had in it. This goes hand in hand with the internet-based pop culture of the 2000s, which I also love to pull inspiration from, using my nostalgia to make a loving rendition of my past into the present. A few cans of Monster and a few nights staying up way too late later, and I've got myself a new art piece. So I'm not someone that's ashamed or afraid of admitting and embracing my influences, in part thanks to the wonderfully collaborative nature of the furry community as a whole. So because of that, I'd love to showcase some of my biggest inspirations across both art and music. So artistically, I've taken great inspiration from Splash Kitty Artist, Sparkle Cats 2009, 2000s furry animation memes and Pokemon, as well as Stephen Gamble's horror illustrations and scary stories to tell in the dark, the book series. And musically, I love to take inspiration from Laura Les, Emma Essex, and Jamie Stewart. The first piece of mine I'll go over is Sparklecore, which I personally think is my best demonstration of my art and direction. Sparklecore is a representation of the 2000s furry community that I grew up in. Back when the internet was like a wild west of creativity, when everyone had silly, flashy characters and nobody cared what others thought about their art and themselves. Through this multimedia piece, containing found objects, acrylic on canvas paintings, plushies, fur, and toys attached to a 2x3 painted panel, I essentially aim to create a snapshot of my heart. Up next, I want to showcase a piece that demonstrates my technical ability, along with some thematic variation in my work. This is a portrait of Esther, a ghost wolf girl cre character I created to explore themes of dysphoria, gender, and horror. Despite her spooky appearance, Esther is a friendly character, trying her best to be kind through her way in the world, despite having a body that feels mismatched and not representative of her heart. I put a lot of my emotion and personal struggle into this piece, and I'm really proud of it. I think it's the best representation of what I can do as an artist, beyond the usual choice of painting silly, cartoonish things. And last but not least, I want to show my favorite animation work I've done. I mentioned earlier animation memes. Still, the Today, a huge part of the community's artistic side is creating these little character animations, usually dances, that constantly evolve in theme, popularity, and content. This one in particular, the Nya Nya Dance, is likely the oldest known case of these trends occurring, and has a sort of a legendary status in the animator community. I really wanted to make an homage to the incredibly silly and simple origin of what would later boom into more complex, detailed renditions of dances and embrace my initial creative boom that I had as a kid. So I'll only show it for a little bit because there is some flashing images, so fair warning if you're sensitive to that kind of thing. So that's all I've got for now. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll leave you with a cookie as a parting gift. Have fun, and never let go of your truest self. See ya!